Welcome to Roblox, the land of colors and blocks and, uh, wait, there is so much more. Hey guys, and welcome back. When you talk about Roblox to anybody outside of the community, they think of something like this, some studs, some basic parts, and, uh, overall, not a great vibe. Today, I want to give you three tips to make your water just magnificent. This is what we see a lot of times on Roblox. We have our grass... We could even add a, a material onto this. And when we see water, sometimes people make it like ice. Which honestly, well, it's not exactly that great. We're gonna take your water from looking like this today to looking like this. Very beautiful. I have three simple tips that will help you guys make some absolutely magnificent water. Also keep in mind, Water's not always blue. There's definitely some green environments as well. Some water's even brown. You never know. It depends on the build. Let's get started. Now, tip number one is pretty simple, and everyone should know this. Textures, guys. Textures is what's going to help your water stick out from anyone else's. Unless, of course, we all use the same textures, which is definitely a probability. But check this out. There's a plugin called Add Easy Textures, and it's legit a library of so many textures. We could search by tags and find just the water related ones. And then let's say we want this one. We'll click apply and here is our texture. Let's go ahead and make our water color as well. And now we already have some pretty decent looking water. However, there's so many more things you could do to make this feel a lot better in your environments. And that brings us to tip number two. Guys, water has depth AKA layers and adding layers is what's gonna help your water stand out in your environment. So let's bring this up a little bit. Also quick, this isn't even related to the water, but I feel like I have to mention it. When we do builds, everyone does exactly what I just did. And we add a texture on every single side. As you can see, back, bottom, front, left, right, and top. The only one we actually need is the top. Uh, I'm sure Roblox doesn't like rendering out all the textures that players can't even see. So guys, just a quick tip and the overall ocean. That was, that was a good segue. Water, ocean, got it. <laughs> guys, make sure there's only a texture on the side you can see. Anyways, up next, we need some layers. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of transparency to this water part. We're gonna have this at maybe like a point two. And now we're gonna make layers below it and we'll take our texture off because that doesn't matter. We're gonna make this part black and we'll make about four of those. Now we have something that looks like this and to enhance that layer effect, we are going to make these have a little less transparency as we go up. So the bottom one has 0.2, or I guess it would be a little more. This one will have 0.5, we'll go 0.65, and then this one will do 0.75. Now that we have some layers, our water is already starting to look a little bit better. Let's group that together, and we'll put it just next to this, so we can kind of see what's going on. Now that we have a little bit of depth to this water, foam. Guys, the foam layer is so important because it gives this really cool outline effect. No matter what you put in the water or where you put it, it's automatically gonna be outlined with this sort of... Now to make the foam, you're gonna use a mesh and then you're gonna add a surface appearance to it. Make sure you have overlay setting right here and make sure your foam is glass and 0.05 transparency. There is a super quick way that you can do this if you don't wanna do anything crazy. There's a plugin called Part to Water which is all right as a base and you could just edit it if you wanted. Let's do cartoon and transform. And this gives us a couple layers to work with. Not exactly the same colors or ways that I would build up some water, but it does give you that foam look and a few layers to work with as well. As you can see, everything works the same. But let's get into what changes this old, super popular stylized water into something like this. When we have textures, we're gonna put more than one on and then there's a number one secret that I don't really see people doing and it changes everything. So my water right here, let's just use this plugin and change it to that water. We're gonna grab all of these textures and just remove them. Then we're gonna hop back into add easy textures and let's say I want this water one right here. And then let's just scroll through the low poly textures and see if there's another one that I like. Let's try this one. All right, guys, I changed it to this one because I think it looks kind of cool and I've never seen someone make water with it. We're gonna make this a 0.95 and then we're gonna add back that other water texture as well 
well and have them stacked on top of each other. We're starting to get something pretty cool. I think making that base texture quite a bit bigger looks pretty cool. And then we're going to make it at a 0.98. The trick is to make one of them barely noticeable and it just adds a little bit of detail. If we had this as a beam going through it, it would look even better. Now, the number one trick, guys, the method I see absolutely nobody doing a vignette. If you are not a photographer or a photo editor, you may not know what a vignette is. Guys, it's basically a dark border and it literally transforms things, man. Check this out. I'm going to surround this part with parts i guess we'll make them stone just for the demonstration and now we're gonna add our vignette onto here look at this guys the darker edges gives so much more depth in fact i think this is the number one thing most people are missing it's crazy the comparison between this right here and this this looks like some normal roblox water this Looks like something with amazing lighting and a lot of depth. Now, I do have one bonus tip for you guys as well. Any particle effects you can add on definitely will help. In fact, there is this water particles kit that is completely free by Lilac Brush. If you search that up in the toolbox, you will end up with this right here. And it comes with a few things. We have a little splash right here. This thumbnail thing we could delete. And then we have a wave particle. I don't overly like the wave particle, but the splash is definitely really cool. We could put that around stuff that is in the water. And as you can see, that looks pretty fantastic. The more particles you add and the more decorations, the better. And then of course, the more creative you get with colors, textures, etc., your water will stand out way more than the next. But man, that is beautiful. You guys already know it is time to answer some questions also i think this video is going up on christmas so if i didn't say it already merry christmas let me know how it went for you guys in the comments below question number one will there be a sprint button for ipad slash phone and if you crash a lot will there be a hospital you need to go to to heal yourself yes we will add sprint on phone and tablets hospital I've been playing around with the idea, because in, in ideas, yes, I want it, but in practice, I don't know if it would be too annoying. Say you crash at the other end of the map, you have to go to the hospital, I don't know if players are gonna love or hate that. So, it's still in the possibility stage. Question number two, when you release the dream game eventually, how will you let us know when it's out? I will love a live stream. Guys, I'm sure you will know. There will be a Discord announcement, a Twitter post, a live stream, a video, uh, 50 TikToks, uh, so much. Literally any way that I could tell people it will be a way that people get told. Our last question for today, how did you get into riding motorcycles? I think I just wanted a motorcycle. I saw people around me having motorcycles. I saw people on the street with motorcycles and I just wanted a motorcycle. So I talked to Kirsten and I was like, hey, I want to get a motorcycle. And she was at first like, hey, bro, that's that's probably a bad idea, as most people are, because they're dangerous and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I just went, I bought a motorcycle and I haven't looked back. Like the bug bit me, I guess. All I want to do now is ride, but it's winter, it's raining, it's, oh, it's so bad. <laughs>